Gather your materials and then fill your giant test tube. That's sort of what these engineering students are doing. They're part of the American Ecological Engineering Society meeting held at UT. They pack sand, soil, clay, and rocks, creating a bioretention system that might help with stormwater management. The students will work in teams and their charge is to design a bioretention media and uh, that is a component of a stormwater management practice. And this media needs to be designed such that it targets the removal of pollutants such as nitrate and phosphate. We're going to stir it up, we're going to take a sample. Dr. Andrea Ludwig with Biosystems Engineering and Soil Science at UT's Institute of Agriculture helped organize this event. So now that our tubes and buckets are full, let's do this. Go! <laughs> Students pour water into their design columns, all to learn which combination of materials might work best at removing pollutants and reducing urban runoff. As the water filters through, just how pure is it? These future engineers from UT and other universities will likely someday work to protect our environment and ecosystems. Meantime, this competition challenges them to find a stormwater management solution to a real-world problem. And that problem is dirty urban waterways, sometimes caused by heavy rains hitting pavement and then flowing here. And so as that runoff uh, leaves pavement and all the impervious surfaces that cover our developing watersheds, uh, that has an impact on water quality, has an impact on our um, ecosystems. But a problem that needs a solution is also a learning opportunity for these students who like the idea of helping the environment. Most people don't necessarily think of impervious surfaces or um, just like the urban environment as being polluting our water, but it is and I, I like that I can educate people on it. Engineers want to build things that solve a problem. And in this case, the students could have future careers that include using their knowledge and skill to help our natural world. This is Charles Denny reporting.